ignorance. What ignorance? We know that we are this body. We are Hindu, Muslim, Christian, both and so many things. I'm father, I'm mother, I'm wife, I'm daughter. But really this body is not mine. We are not this body. हम लोग ये शरीर नहीं है समझो वी आर पार्ट ऑफ पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ सुप्रीम पार्सनलिटी ऑफ गॉड है एटर्नल हैविंग पीस एंड लव एंड अफेक्शन बट नाउ वी हैव फॉर गेट एन एवरीथिंग वी थिंक दैट ऑल वी आर हिंदू वी आर मुस्लिम वी आर बौद्ध वी आर एनी पर्सन ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड वाइफ Sisters and all, but everything is open. We are now in a jail, so much binded by or what the attachment. Really, Krishna came to this world to show this light, and that is why he is this bani instruction is way. What is this? Not like a paper or written on paper anything. Transcendental knowledge. So this life, what they brought here, is symbol of or that knowledge of Gita, Bhagavat, Ramayana, Puran, Ved, Upanishad, and all essence of all. Mahatma Shah. Supreme Lord is one without second. It is true. We are part parcel of that Supreme Lord. We know that in this world there is one sun, one earth, but we have divided all. We try to divide also Supreme Lord also. That Allah is my God, Khuda, or what He is our. Everything, or oh, like Christians, Jesus Christ is or oh, mine, but they don't know that all names are of Supreme Lord one, and we are eternal servant of God. We are come here. हम लोग इसी के लिए आए हैं कि आप लोग समझिए कि ज्ञान क्या है. हम लोग कौन से रेली हम लोग क्या है रेली फॉट लिया टू लीड दिस मैसेज भारतीय संस्कृति वैदिक संस्कृति जिसको हमारे महान भाव जी ने कहा यह हिंदू धर्म नहीं है सनातन और वैदिक धर्म संसार में जित ये सब संसार में Have we translated in English? I want to speak in Hindi sometimes. Bharati, Vedic Sanskriti, a वह महासमुद्र है जिसे संसार की सारी संस्कृतियाँ निकली हैं, सारी संस्कृतियों का उद्गम स्थान या भारत है। इसमें इसी में से संस्कृतियों में से वी आर एपल टू ऑल ऑल ह्यूमन बट वाई यू आर नॉट मेकिंग एपल टू दी और एनिमल्स काउ बैथल ट्रीज एंड क्रीपर दे आर ऑल्सो सो वाई यू आर नॉट डेलिंग लाइक यू आर टू डील विथ For all human persons, जबी तुम सचमुच में ही कृष्ण के आदर्श को लेकर के उसका प्रचार करना चाहते हो कि केवल मनुष्य मात्र ही तक अपने प्रेम को सीमित मत रखो पशु पक्षियों को काट करके खाना ये कौन सा प्रेम है भगवान के प्रति ये भी तुम के बच्चे हैं जैसे हम बच्चे हैं इस चीज को समझना चाहिए दूसरी बात एक और समझो मुक्ति में सब हम भगवान में मिलकर 
the complete meaning of the term Sanatan Dharma, which is the terminology used throughout the Indian Vedic literature to explain what Indian culture is. Indian culture is the reservoir, it's like the ocean from which all the different cultures have sprung about. Buddhism, Jainism, Muslimism and so many more cultures which we see throughout different continents at different times. They all originate from Indian culture and they look for their final destination and harmony in Indian culture only. There are so many waves in the ocean and all these different cultures are representations of those waves. Currently, the high tide which is drowning everyone all over is the love of gopis, the unalloyed most the topmost devotees of Lord Sri Krishna who captured him, controlled him through their love, through their complete surrender. That's the topmost expression of Indian culture and love, love for God. In this world, we all have the idea to love everyone to live peacefully with each other. But what is happening? We are seeing we are completely confined and limited in our own thoughts because animal slaughter is so much prevalent. Does this denote in any way love to God? Never. Love to God means we include every living entity in any form, in any species of life, human beings, animals, trees, plants, everyone, just as much as we are part and parcel of the Supreme Lord, these living entities are also his eternal part and parcels. So we must properly relate to these living entities and to the whole nature. Secondly, as we heard in the speech of our river guest that Indian culture, the culmination is Mukti, but his Jesus Christ is himself Supreme Lord. And मैंने पढ़ा है और उनका ऐसा पतिक होता है। I have read this and I believe in this. That in the young age, Jesus came to India. I am telling all from reliable folks. And he went to Vrindavan. He went to Ayodhya. He went to Jagannathpur. And then he had a very strong belief that uh, oh, Christ is Supreme Lord. Who is Krishna? Oh, Krishna in Odisha. They call Krishna not Krishna. Krishna. And something from Krishna it came. Krishna. And then came it out after some time. It became Christ. And he accepted him like his father. And that is why he is called Jesus Christ. So Christ is not other than so king. He says he is so beautiful. Love and affection he himself. Love and affection. He can attract anyone, even animals, birds, 
what to tell me? Oh, be human and especially breath broken and good. So he is so attractive, that is why he is called Krishna or Krishna or Krishna and then Christ. Same thing. We know that also Muslims are not other than us. We are, that he has told yes. We are the family of one God. But he are quarreling so much. We should try to love each other. Even to animals, creepers, birds and all. Oh, trees and creepers, everyone. This is where the culture. But we find that all the cultures, the essence of culture, or carrying pressure in the shape of Krishna. Gopis has so much affection for Krishna, Supreme Personality of the Lord. That <laughs> even Purushottam, Maryada Purushottam, Rama Kavi Atas Ushame Durgaya, even the ideals of oh, Maryada Purushottam Ram was shining in that. Even Gita Ke Bhakta, Jyo Sri Krishna hai, the speaker of Bhagavad Gita, or oh, four-handed, Vasudeva Krishna, Samkha Chakra Gada Padma, and he was instructing Arjuna. His glory also, Kushi means Dhub Jati hai, drowned in that much, that love. So Krishna is embodiment of love. But Srimati Radhika and Gaur, the gopis, are really the embodiment of love and affection. In this Ras Jatra festival, what is this? Essence of all this. Ek samay ki baat hai. Aap loo ko to jaldi hai. एक समय की बात है नारद जी भगवान का सबसे बड़ा प्रेमी भक्त कौन है यह ढूंढने के लिए प्रयाग से ऋषियों की सभा से उठे और वे सारे भारतवर्ष में सारे विश्व में स्वर्ग में और इसके बाद में ऊपर तक वैकुंठ रूप बनी देव at that time Krishna was in this council of or Jadu, Maharaj Jadu, Buddha, Pakru and all were there. And here Rukmani Shaktapama and all the things were assembled in the Raj Palace of Gaurukmini. And they were asking Rukmini mother, Gaurani mother, mother, we want to know that we are so many queens, more than 16,108, most beautiful now. And we want to control Krishna. Because, but we cannot. Especially Rukmini and Sattvam are where they think. And tell him, Mother, can you tell why? Always serving Krishna, but he is not in our control. Vaham Dhrav ke control mein nahi hai. Wo kya sota hai? Kabhi kabhi sota hua. 
रोते रहते उसका बिस्तरा भीग जाता है कभी कभी रोते रोते सपने में ही मैया जसोदा मैया जसोदा ये पुकार होता है कभी हे ललिते हे विशा के हे राजे तुम कहा हो तो करते होने लगता है उस समय में उस समय में रोहिणी मैया ब्रज के प्रेम को बतलाने लगी सखाओं का कृष्ण के प्रति अवाध प्रेम है मैया जसोदा का और नंद बाबा का उन पर इतना प्रेम है कि वो भगवान की भगवत्ता को भूल करके अपना हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम और बाय दिस हॉर्मिंग ऑल एनिमल्स ट्री इवन दे कैन हियर एंड ऑल दी बर्ड्स फ्रीशेज एवरी वन विल बी लिबरेटेड एंड दे विल हैव ऑफ कृष्णा प्रेम गौर प्रणाम इवन एसेंस ऑफ गीता महाभारत रामायण वेद उपनिषद शास्त्र एसेंस 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 इज ऑफ भागवत भागवत गोपी प्रेम गोपी प्रेम ऑफ ऑल वेदार्थ उपनिषद निगम कल्पतरो गलित फलम सुखमुखाद अमृत द्रव संयुत इसलिए इसी समय में ही विल ट्रांसलेट इसी समय कृष्ण ब्रज को छोड़ करके चले गए वे मथुरा में ऑफ लिविंग ब्रज लेकिन फादर मादर ही प्रोमिस दैट आई एम कमिंग और जस्ट टू मॉक एंड इफ नॉट सो वी आई विल कम टू हाँ परसों में आऊंगा वे आपको आई मस्ट बट वी ने दर कैन He went to Dwarka. He married so many queens, you know. And he was to fight the Mahabharat battle of Mahabharat. So many or duties were there. there. But he was remembering always Krishna to gopis, Mother Jasoda, Vrindavan, Kaus, oh. होली जमुना गोवर्धन और वेटिंग डिस्कवर्ड ए ट्री एंड व्हाट वाट दैट ट्री और सन ये कुलेक्टिस इज वेरी सोन सोलर एक्ट इज देयर सो आई मस्ट गो नियर टू वृंदावन और कुरुक्षेत्र आई मस्ट गो At that time, Kurukshetra was highest kind of religious place. So, with his all friends, oh, so many sons. Do you know how many sons? Each book is his queen. Had ten sons and one daughter. So, taking all and all his friends, 
He went to take bath in Kurukshetra, and all the kings of whole India and whole world at once they assembled in Kurukshetra. Even Bhishma Pitama and all Kurus and Pandavas were there. Kunti Mother, Draupadi, Ancha. Five Pandava, Arjun Bhim, Nakul Sahadev, Yudhishthir, all were. Oh, when Nanda Baba, Jasodha Maya, heard this, quickly they arranged their bull of course to go to Kurukshetra. And they went to Kurukshetra. When they reached in Kurukshetra. Krishna, his father, mother, and all were engaged in giving honor to Mother Kunti Pandava, Bhisham Pitama, and all so many thousands and thousands of the rishis there. They were giving proper respect and honor, honor to all. They were busy in that. But when they heard, Krishna and Baldev heard, Mother Yasoda is coming. Nanda Baba is coming. All the gopis are coming. My friends are coming. At once he left them at all. And he quickly ran, ran away to, to meet his father and mother. How? Oh, weeping. With a well-taped heart. He could not bear the separation. Oh, mother, mother, mother. And he came in the lap of Mother Yasoda. Mother Yasoda was, oh, breathing so. Who is Krishna, Supreme Personality of Godhead? Mother Yasoda, not an ordinary lady. She is eternal and mother of Supreme Lord. So, they were becoming, oh, breathing bitterly, bitterly. And those who were there, all began to be born. Seeing this, Mother Devaki was somewhat confused. I think that we cannot take Krishna with us. Oh, he has forgotten that I am his mother, Krishna, and Baldev. And they are weeping loud for Krishna, telling that, oh, my, my son, my son. So he was suspect, she was suspect, suspecting something that the Krishna and Balde will go with father and mother, Nanda and Jasoda. We cannot control. Then quickly she told, Oh Jasoda, you are very far. Very far. And very far, broad minded and generous. Very merciful. Knowing that I am, uh, knowing that, uh, knowing, you know that I am mother and Vasudevi is father. Even knowing you kept this like your eyes, people of your eyes. And always nourish and support it, Krishna. I am your own son. He wanted to tell Krishna and Mother Jasoda, remember, that you are not son of Jasoda and Jasoda should not think that, oh, he is my son. He wanted to declare this thing. But, or only Mother came back. And he checked here. Oh, you should go to see Pandavas and all others. Oh, we will arrange here. So, very cleverly she sent, strictly she sent Mother. Uh, Vasudev and uh, Devaki and Vasudev also to honor them and at that time Krishna and Mother Jesus were waiting between each other. In this moment I oh gopis were waiting there. In a moment they are going to die without meeting Krishna. So Jasuda Mother, we are going. Anyhow, 
the expression and progression when they were coming for a brother. But as nearer they were coming, their tolerance was bowed and burdened. Oh, and they are, oh, they are going to judge joy at once, at once. And then Mother Jasoda quickly leaves. And she, in a tree, she took Baldev and she went out of that area and she went to oh, Mother Devaki and the other. Then Gopi is like meeting. So Krishna. Krishna telling, oh I am so ungrateful to you. You have come. I promised you to come but I could not come. So you think that I am from, I have broken my promise. What do you want to hear? Then Gopi told that Radhika especially told, I am same, same Radhika, your beloved. And you are same my beloved, Krishna. We are meeting here. And that very Vasantari too is spring coin with you. Kapkus are singing. Peacocks are dancing. Oh, so much fragrance from all flowers are coming here. We are sitting together. But I want. I am not happy here. Here, so much affluence. Your father, mother, Nanda and uh, Vasudeva Devati, Visham Pitama, all are here. Your all queens are here. So many horses and elephants are here. So I want that you should come to Vrindavan on the bank of Janda. There we will free. We can love each other too. We can talk freely there. Here we can. So please, you should come on the chariot, what chariot? In our heart chariot, our mind chariot. Krishna accepted this. And then, he took that chariot, chariot of Gopi mind, with Baladev, with Sudhakta, and they are coming to them. Gopis, especially Radhika, is bringing Krishna. And they are telling her, Say to Paranna Painu, Kehalaki Madan We will explain all these things oh, in three, four days. We love her Gopi. What is this festival? I have told something, essence of all this is So this is the Gopis. Gopis are bringing oh, Krishna here in Vrindavan. Also there is a story in Puran, especially Pursottam Khanda, that there was a king in Dradyumna. He heard anywhere that the king of Aunty and he heard that in this world there is a place Ni Nilacha and there is a deity named Nil Madha. Some told, someone told those who have been there that we went there to take the sun and we saw. Even a crow was sitting on the branch of a tree and the branch was has gone to the pond and crow was sleeping and at once in sleeping he fell down in the river in that pond and what became? and he became when he went there he became four-handed like Vishnu, Narayan and Garud at once came there 
and he took him off on his back to back foot. So even a crow can be so can go to back on the by taking the person of me mother. Then the king promised that I want to see. And then he told his so many four ministers, anyhow, one of his priests, son, and others, to discover where is the Nirmadha. He sent in four directions. They went in four directions. Top three months it has been given time, three months. They looked out everywhere, but three returned, but that the son of his priest, Vidyapati, he never returned at that time. He went oh, in east, where? In Nilachal. Nilachal is near ocean. Ocean. At the side of the bank of ocean. And he went there. He was searching. Perhaps this is this place is very beautiful and charming. It may be Nila, Nilmadha Prabhu may be here. He wanted to stay there and to discover. So in evening he was searching a place to to host. host. Or oh, some person told him that why you are not going in the house of the prominent person in this village. And his name is Vishwabhasi. We go and you can take shelter if you want to be in life. He went there, but he was not there. He has gone anywhere else. His daughter, Lalitha, a very beautiful teenager, girl, very beautiful Lalitha, was in the house alone. When he, Vidyapati went there, and he wanted that he want to spend my night time here. Tomorrow I can start coming here. But Lalta told, wait a little, my father is coming. And he can uh, satisfy you. Then he waited for some time. In the meantime, his father Vishwabhasu came. Oh, very, very fragrant. Oh, very attractive. Then he had some idea that from where he is coming. And he whole night was there and in the meantime, anyhow, he loved his daughter, Lalita. And Lalita saw that very beautiful young age, this person. So I must have love and affection. So, knowingly this boy, Vidyapati, Oh, began to love her and after some time oh, she proposed to her father that I want to marry him and they were married together. One day this boy told, you are my wife, can you tell me that in the night where your father goes in evening and comes next morning? Oh, he had not told even me that where he goes. But any deity is there and he goes to worship. Then in the house. She told to his father, I want that you shall promise that my husband should go with you and to take the son of that deity. He told that I cannot. Never. Then I will take poison and I will die. Then his father told, that I can take this person only covering his arm. I can. And it was covered. And he and a bullock, bullock cart was called. And both were on the bullock and they were pulled. In the meantime, Lalita gave in the hands of his husband something, monster she. That you, when you will go, you should give one, one, one. And this is the time of rainy. And after some time, oh, they will come out and very yellow flowers will come. And by that, you can go there again. 
So by quickly, they were doing so. And he went there and saw the Mother. He was very upset. His desire was fulfilled. And he wanted to go to King and to Kevin. All these things. There is a big story I am telling in a very short way that he returned back to his home. But his father, father-in-law, oh, he imprisoned him. Oh, he cannot go. Against his wife, Lalita, helped him. And anyhow, he was released from the jail. And he went to his king, Indradyumna, and he told all this. Then Indradyumna, with his wife, children and relatives and whole army, whole eh, wealth and everything, oh, he proceeded. But when he reached to ocean, he saw that that place was covered with oh so much bright shining sun. There is no sign of that hill even. Everything was covered with. Then he began to weep. Then he make a area of us that don't weep. Oh, his mother will not come. But you can try. He can come in three shapes. And then with Brahma, he went there and three trunks were oh, they came in the ocean and anyhow they will carry to any place where the temple is. And Krishna himself came in the chain of a very old carpenter. And he told that I will do. And he did. But he told them that, oh, don't open the door within 20 round days. But they thought that, oh, what became? Oh, this Brahmin has entered this room and even seven days, eight days, twelve days have been passed and he is not coming. No sound, nothing. Perhaps he has died. So King requested that uh, at once it should be opened anyhow. So, they called carpenters and they cut out the door and they In the meantime, oh, that carpenter and himself, Krishna, he disappeared. And voice came, why, why you did so? Oh, I could not complete this statue of Radha and Krishna, Bhagavan also. They are not food. So anyhow, this was the beast of so what can I do? And then you should go and do Abhishek and with a chariot you should take it to Sundarachalam and then you should do this chariot festival. Oh, this is the shine of love and affection of God. We will discuss all these points very Rapidly in our process, morning and evening process. They know all these things. <laughs> so, from tomorrow, I will try to explain all these things. What is the really law? Love. And where it is, highest topic of love. And how we can practice this love, bhakti to Krishna. This is the essence of everything. Really you should know. Krishna is love and love is Krishna. But what kind? Only I think. Embodiment of the love of gopis. Srimati Radhika. He is really love. We have come to give this message. This was the Indian Vedic culture. Love and affection. Even to treat creepers, animals and birds. To love are all. We are all one in one family of Krishna, of God. We should not hate. We should not try to be duplicit, duplicit and hypocrisy and all these things. We should try to give up all things. You can maintain your life anyhow. 
any how you can but chant for hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 krishna is so powerful very powerful he can create whole universe lakhs and lakhs in universe in a second and he can destroy and again he can create oh he has so many qualities oh so many qualities among these qualities oh he is very merciful very merciful to all he is living for you all dear my children now we are there suffering for getting me so please even if they are remembering this he has invested all power in these 16 names hari krishna hari krishna krishna krishna, krishna hari 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 krishna hari so these names are very powerful you know valmiki even there was a saint valmiki he was so cruel and he was he has killed so many animals and not only rishi maharshi the brahmins and all so he was very cruel sinful oh he could not chant even ram ram nag came and told if you can chant ram ram then mara mara in sanskrit language so you can chant opposite name of ram mara mara and he began to do and in some years he was perfect all perfect knowledge he wrote the past times of ram before ram so these names are very powerful if you want to be happy you so chant this this powerful name hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram you will see that you are happy you should continue and do with a whole energy i am responsible that whether all your desires are fulfilled or not and you are really happy or not so you should you can test for even 7 days and if there is some something coming then believe me because why i am telling only tyananda prabhu has told me shrimad bhagavatam has told me balde prabhu has told like this all that even rupa chaitanya mahaprabhu and he is all associate said jathashtam re bhrata kuru hari hari mana manisha o yesu chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram you must be happy oh after some days you will see that your suffering self has gradually grown and grown this is the essence of all teaching today i'm finishing here my class of sri krishna chaitanya i am very glad to be come here i thought that our gathering in holland was best and preaching also best but i see that oh the devotees of birmingham of they have assembled so much they were the many persons here that's that in something from hawaii it is here the page that but i think that so many devotees are coming traveling with me from europe from america from here and there italy all and everywhere there yeah. not only here only birmingham i think that all most of them are from outside the big me come <laughs> because they uh, they want to hear more and more this thing and they believe in this so my thanks so many thanks my heart with blessings to you all especially our high commissioner and and this prabhu i am very happy that they are here to my 
also heartily blessings to them. Go, Pranay! <laughs>
that is controlled for you. We are not here. Five hospital. Accident. With car. Very best. When? What is the name? Letter in June. Anyone can, other can go and bear feet and control it. Who is the expert? Right. Oh, yes, sir, control. She is a target target, it's a matter of the chapter 13. She's a Chinese writer, Meta Chapter 2, Text 121. Translation. That very personality who stole away my heart during my youth is now again my master. These are the same moonlit nights on the month of Chaitra. The same fragrance of Malati flowers is there, and the same sweet breezes are blowing from the Kadamba forest. In our intimate relationship, I am also the same lover, yet my mind is not happy here. I am eager to go back to that place, on the bank of the river, under the Vatasi tree. That is my desire. Then what would Goswami explain to you? What is so? You are not prepared? I, I know the answer, but I'm going to say. Um, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is quoting from Sanskrit liter literature from Sahitya Darpan, a mundane literature of loving affairs. There, the uh, wife is saying to her husband that before we were married, when we had no permission to meet, how sweet our love was. Although we had no permission, there was no barrier to our love. There was no obstacle. And every moment, our love was a brand new experience. We were at the Vaitasi under the Vaitasi tree. The Vaitasi or cane tree is a very powerful tree. Even if a big cyclone or hurricane comes, the, uh, this tree will sway back and forth with the winds and the water and it won't break. So our love was unbreakable. Now we're married. And now there's no barrier in one sense. Everybody is very much appreciative of our relationship. And everyone likes that we meet in a lonely place. However, I'm not happy anymore because there's no newness, there's no freshness, there's no risk, and it's quite boring. I wish that we could be unmarried again, but it's not possible. So this was the Sahitya Darpan Sanskrit literature verse recited by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. No one understood the meaning, his deep meaning. Only Sarup Damodar and one young boy, Sri Rup, not yet Rupa Goswami. So Rupa Goswami wrote another verse, understanding Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's deep moods, that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in the mood of Srimati Radhika, meeting Krishna at Kurukshetra. And she's saying, before we were underneath the Kadamba trees and the Tamal trees. We were at the bank of the Jamuna River and everything was so wonderful with the peacocks and the cows and our sakis there. And it was so beautiful meeting alone with you and in secret. Now you've come to Matra then Dwarka, now I'm seeing you in Kurukshetra, and now I'm the same lover, Srimati Radhika, and you are also Krishna, but you're not the same. Actually now, I see that there are so many elephants, horses, ministers,
palaces and 16,000, over 16,000 wives. So how can we have that same relationship? It's impossible. Although you're the same and I'm the same, I'm not happy here at Kurukshetra. I wish that we could again go back to Vrindavan and be as it was before, taking all kinds of risks when I was leaving my husband and the gopis were leaving their husbands, and it was always fresh and new. But I know that we could never go back to that. So for one second, she was experiencing so much happiness. Seito Purana Natapainu. That person, that Krishna, for whom I was burning by Cupid's great fire of separation, now I've seen him after so long. And now again I've seen the Lord of my life, and there's some relief. But that happiness was just for a moment. Now she's seeing all the elephants and horses, chariots, and so many queens, and knowing that they can never go back to how what it was before. And so this great, as Srila Gurudev and our Prabhupada always explains it, a great pathetic scene at Kurukshetra. What is love? What is pain? I think for pain there is no special word in English. Only word, oh, what? Love, affection. But in Sanskrit, each word has a special meaning. <coughs> Asapti, how, rain, snake, man, anay, ra, Special, special meaning. Here, Radhika has love for us. What kind of love? If any, circumstances come. That Prem Bandhan, Prem Toy, should go. But even there is more and more love and affection. This is called Prem. Begins from here. Here there was some reason <coughs> that Krishna left Vrindavan. He went to Mathura. He took open and sanskar and became Chhatri and declared him that I am son of Devi Vasudev and Chhatri. Moreover, he went to Dvarka and he first Married eight very beautiful princes. Later on, he married 15,100 more. Oh. So many children are there. This is enough for breaking love and affection from me. Enough. But here you can see. Oh, love and affection of Radhika and love and affection to Radhika. The love of Mother Jasoda to Krishna, Nandava, and the love of friends, the love of all Prajabhasya, even animals, cows. They were joined, but they were not giving that love and affection, giving love. They cannot maintain their life, they will die. Here in this world, if a husband divorces his wife and he marries again, 
that ex-wife will go to court and shoot a file and he is bound to write that I will have to pay money or monthly to you for every single day. It may be said divorce and she will also marry to her. Or she cannot tolerate that he should marry giving up me and two times, three times, four times, five times. Here, oh love and affection. Oh, we just talk. But there, even Krishna did so many marriages, so many wives, so many children. He changed his name. But Radhika, what did? The love of Radhika to Krishna and Krishna love for? Was it a stop? Any diversion? If you want to realize that, consider their love. Or try to be like that. Otherwise, this is called not love, it is sense gratification and lust. So I think that we are in lust. If any cause comes, oh, we divorce and we kick up, kick. So, this is not, oh, here. She knows Radhika, that he has married so many. So many children are there. And now he is king. And now he has changed in Jadu, Jadu Mansi, Jada. But even Radhika is praying as one more and more on this is all toxic and bad. Srimati Radhika, when she was lamenting for Krishna and met with Krishna, then Gopyasya upalabhya chirad abhishtam yad prekhane drigeshu sapayanti What? What do you mean? Oh, you should read when then go deeply. You should try to get, forget yourself and where you are, you are doing everything for you, go to the And then you can realize yourself. And that is why you become weak, you cannot go. So try to hear it, high class of or association. <laughs> When Krishna came to Kurukhetra, at that time he met with Vishwanamaya and Nanda Baba. And there was a very happy meeting. But the gopis had also come to meet with Krishna. But they could not come close. So they were standing far away and looking towards Krishna. At that time, Shukadeva Goswami, he's remembering this moment, how the gopis are looking towards Krishna. And he's saying, Gopyasta Krishna Upalavja Chirada Vishnu. Chirada Vishnu. The gopis had a very deep hope and desire for a very, very long time to meet with Krishna and to see Krishna. And now that very long cherished desire was being something was being fulfilled because they were seeing him. But how were they seeing him? Yet Prakshane They were so eager to see him that even when their eyes closed just for one second less than that, 
Then they began to curse Brahma, the creator, who had created the eyelids. Oh, Brahma, you are foolish. You don't know how to create. At that time when they saw Krishna, they took him into their hearts through their eyes. And in the core of their hearts, they embraced him tightly. And in that state, they became so absorbed in embracing Krishna within their hearts that they became forgetful. They cannot remember who am I, where am I, or anything. They attained a state of trance, or beyond any trance that any yogi or any jnani can ever imagine. So in this verse, Shukadev Goswami is declaring very boldly, all yogis and jnanis who are doing very severe austerity, or your lives are useless, far on you, you are quite condemned. Just take shelter of the lotus feet of the gopis of Vrindavan. Gopi so much separation from Krishna. They became more than yogis. They forgot everything. And they took Krishna to their heart by the window of the eyes. And embraced so much. And they became like senses. Then Krishna began to passion her. Oh, oh, please. Why are you feeling so much separation? I am not far away from you for a moment. You should know that any any idol Oh, no. If it is made by clay, any clay, clay, clay a statue like lady or oh, if it is made by clay, everywhere there is clay. There will be no separation between clay and that. Like Krishna told them, like your body is made of five elements earth, water, ether, fire, and air. Whether you don't know or know, your body is made of that. And turns on dental body, Satchidana, by three. Satchid. So, this physical body cannot be separated by earth, air, water, ether, and form. You cannot defend. <coughs> or oh, similarly, you are made by my mood. What is the uh, constitutional position of Radhika? Krishna, he is made of Mahabhav. Srimati Radhika Mahabhav always made of Mahabhav. That is how she is called Radhani Shakti, essence of Radhani and Sambhi. And myself is there always. I am Satchidam. So how I can be separated with you? And always in your body, in your heart, always. Without me, anyone cannot maintain their lives. Krishna is always there. So you can maintain your life. Especially for Gobi, he is telling you. Oh. Try to meditate. And in deep meditation you will see that I am always with you. You are always. Don't feel sad. 
be like yogis and meditate. Like right? what? So you should try to fall. Oh, you should not eat this city. So then you should try to be. Like otherwise you cannot hear. You know, so many are lazy and sleepy. <laughs> Don't do. Other my I or time we go. Useless. So Krishna is telling. So don't see that I'm separated. You cannot separate. So you should think that I'm same like uh, you are. No separation. We are same. Then the gopis became, especially Radha became so angry. Angry. Oh. You are telling me. Oh, I know that before this time, you sent Uddhav with the same message and Uddhav told me, told us. And we became furious. We are not happy. Our separation would become, or temperature of our, oh, increase so much. You sent and he went to us to pacify, he was trying to do so and to tell that no separation between Krishna and you. Why you are living? And again here, <coughs> you are repeating, repeating the same no. We are not yogi. We are not like yogis. That we will. So here, Ahushyate Nalila Nava Padara Vinda Jogaisare Vijinta Madhava Vinda Sansar Kupatito Taranava Lampam Geham Visama Vimanas Chukya Ahus Chukya Ahus Chati Nalila Nava Padara Vinda They became so much sulky or angry and they began to chastise Krishna why you are telling these things to us? We don't accept you this story that we are not yogi. Yogis, they worship Krishna and meditate Krishna. In thousand and thousand and thousand, but they cannot terrify their heart and they cannot control their even mind. They cannot. And we, other, in the other hand, we want to forget you forever. Forever we want. We are so happy, so happy in pleasure, in the house of our father and mother. But you have destroyed everything. You have made upset everything. You get our whole love. 100% or 100 more percent, 10 percent, what is that we get? We let our father, mother, husband, wife and children and everything. But, you know, the relation was so deep and at the end we were in prison and even today. We want to forget you forever. If you can forget us, your mother, your whole Vrindavan, Praja, over and all, your cows, your cows, or your peacocks, your deers. Even you can forget your mother from whom you have taken birth. Fine, we can forget. But this is the problem that you cannot fall. From beginning we see that if we are engaged in any house job, what we 
in Srimad Bhagavatam, in the pastime of Prahlad Maharaj in Lord Nisimha Dev, we find very nice instructions and a deep elaboration on this point. And Prahlad Maharaj is explaining that how the conditioned souls in this material world, they are simply entangled and bewildered. Just like a person who is fallen into a blind well. The description of blind well exactly 100% tallies with the situation in which we are all struggling in. He gives a very nice example, analogy, supposing a person who is going in a forest and he is being chased by a lion, a very ferocious tiger who is hungry to devour him. And this person, in order to escape himself from that lion, he looks and runs here and there. And what happens? He comes over a well which is covered with some bushes, blind well, and he jumps into that well, thinking that if I take shelter, if I hide myself in that well, then the lion will have no more access to me. So he hangs himself down by holding the two branches of a tree which is just close by to that well and the branches are uh, le leaning over that well. And when he hangs himself down and he thinks that, oh, now I'm saved. And when he looks at the bottom of the well, then so many snakes and uh, scorpions and so many dangerous insects, small animals are there. And the snakes are like hissing, ready to bite him. So he sees and his fear increases even more. What to do now? I thought I'll be saved in this well, but he's in even more trouble situation. And then what happens? He notices little later that the branches of the tree which is holding on to are being eaten gradually by two rats from both sides and they're continuously working on those branches. So there's death all around. How long he can hold on to those branches? And even if he tries his best, the rats are going to eat them up anyway. So he's going to go in the trap of the snakes. And if he tries to come out, then